All right, we're on page 257. We're back. Um, and there's a giant plane going overhead. I don't know if my mic is picking that up. Holy cow. All right, there's actually nothing to really do on this page, which is great. But I wanted to make sure that we went through it just so that you like pay attention to these things because everything in the notes matters. Um, and you gotta like really start socking away like little tidbits about certain functions. You know, I keep mentioning your mental encyclopedia of graphs. You gotta get that going. Uh, there's a lot to know. So first and all, first and foremost, first and all, uh, first of all, I think is what I was going for. We talked about limits. We're talking about them very informally. There's a formal definition of limit. It's kind of crazy. Uh, it doesn't benefit you to know it, but at this point, at some point in your life, you'll definitely want to know it. But right now, what we think of as a limit is uh, the logical y value, right? So it's a logical y. I, I'm not really a highlighter guy, but let's let's do this. Um, all right. So a limit is the logical y value. So the thing is, when we talk about limits, we do not care about the value of the function, right? So the value of the function could be anything. The limit is literally walking from the left, what do you expect? Walking from the right, what do you expect? Are they equal? Those are the questions that you have to ask. At no point in time are you like, what do I actually get? No one cares about that. It's all about expectations with limits. It's kind of weird. Um, so there's a clear link between limits and continuity. Um, I've talked about it a lot, right? So if the limit exists, the function exists, and the limit equals the value of the function, a function is continuous. If the limit from the left exists and it's finite, the limit from the right exists and it's finite, but they're not the same, that's a jump discontinuity. If the limit exists, but doesn't equal the value of the function, that's a removable discontinuity. Like limits are everywhere with continuity. We're gonna talk about it more, but just start thinking about that. Almost, almost every function that you've dealt with is actually a continuous function, which means you know how to find a lot of limits that you're just not being asked because they're not interesting enough, which is kind of sad. We only really talk about interesting limits, but each of these functions that's marked here, polynomials, logs, exponentials, sine, cosine, those are continuous functions. The limit at every value in their domain is equal to the value of the function. There's like nothing exciting about those. So you basically don't talk about them um, all that often, which, you know, so you get this impression that limits are all like really interesting and complicated and maybe hard to find or whatever. It's, it's just not the case. Most limits are actually very easy to find. You can find them simply by evaluating the function, but what's the fun in that? So we just don't do it. Uh, graphs are great. Uh, limit from the left, limit from the right. Easy to find. Picture, walking, draw stick figures if you need to, shade it in if you need to. I've been using two colors almost exclusively. Um, so those are things. These are some interesting functions. These are more like what we're going to want to talk about. But to talk about them, we're going to need to know just more ways of dealing with them. And that's what the next notes are going to be about. So I'll be back and we'll dig into that. And that's when we really start getting into the stuff that I think of as like the beginnings of calculus. Like limits are the beginnings of calculus. We've been there for a little while. Uh, when we get algebraic with it, though, that's, that's when we're really there. So I'm looking forward to it and I will see you there.